For investigators, it's been a year of frustration. For the media, a year of speculation. For family and friends of Michael Frankie, it's been a year of exasperation. They wonder what it will take to get the murder solved. I think what's going to solve this case is a substantial reward put out, and I mean substantial. Former legislator and a friend of Frankie's, Chuck Sides, says more could be done to increase the $23,000 reward for information leading to the arrest of the killer. The most surprising thing was uh, that the people that didn't, that surrounded Michael and brought him here did not support him in terms of raising adequate funds that would, would, would produce a source or a killer. And to this day, there's not enough out there that would make somebody step forward and tell what actually happened. I've been shocked, I guess, at the amount of people that want this story to die. Sides still believes the killing was a professional job connected to Frankie's work in New Mexico. <coughs> Detectives continue to talk to this man about the murder of Michael Frankie. He is Mike Kurens, a Marion County inmate who knows a lot about the subject of car burglaries. He can't remember the number of times he's been arrested. But in May of last year, Kieran says he heard the confession of a suspect in one of the biggest murders in Oregon history. Kieran says his cellmate, 30-year-old Frank Gable, talked about stabbing Frankie in the course of a car burglary. I guess he was holding him for the police, trying to arrest him himself. And uh, he just didn't want to be arrested at the time. I don't believe he intentionally stabbed him in the heart trying to kill him or whatever. It was just probably a quick reaction. Kieran says he's been offered no deals in connection with the testimony. He told Newsroom 6 that other inmates are now telling the state police the same story. A car burglary gone wrong. They've yet to tell their stories in front of a grand jury. Frankie's brother Kevin Frankie says the car burglary story still doesn't add up. I believe that Kieran knows something about it, but I believe that he's also very much capable of lying. I believe that... Uh, I know that Karen says associated with corrections officers, some very much senior corrections officers. Frankie says the events of January 17th still don't add up either, like the search for Mike Frankie when co-workers found his car door open. The former deputy director of corrections, Dick Peterson, was one of several to search in and outside of the dome building. Why did Peterson and others fail to locate the body even though it was on the porch? Peterson and others have declined the opportunity to be interviewed about the night of the 17th one year ago. In Salem, Eric Mason, Newsroom 6.